well hello good people i hope you all are doing well welcome to brown bag tarot i'm about to tear open somebody's bag right here right now with y'all get comfortable all right this bag right here is for the gemini all right Not a love reading, but just a general message. We're about to go into this Mercury retrograde. And I know the retrograde always affects the Gemini directly because they're ruled by Mercury himself. Right? So when he starts to turn backwards, things just get a little haywire for the Gemini. So for everybody, but especially for the Gemini. Virgos too. Virgos are ruled by Mercury, but... Uh, this one is for the Gemini. Just a little message Spirit wants you to know during this retrograde period. You know what? I am going to do love. Let's do love. Love during the retrograde. That's what we do here. We do love readings. Surprise. <laughs> All right, Father, show me the energy for the Gemini, please. Y'all know I split the energies. Uh, hostility. See what I say right off the jump. Hostilities. Her. <laughs> hostilities yeah the man holding the coin adjacent possibilities man holding the coin it's like the king of pentacles to me you know what i mean boom king of pentacles with his spine behind all right you're dealing with somebody who look good got money okay but you might be feeling a little hostile toward this person like fuck. we're gonna get into this with the tarot all right with uh, adjacent possibilities. So that means that, Gemini, I feel like that uh, a few things with this. You feel like this person may have different possibilities or you yourself could be having different possibilities. Okay? You yourself could be having good-looking options. Options. Okay? Options. Okay? Might need to let your guard down, too, a little bit, Gemini. You might be coming off a little bit hostile to people who may want to date you. We're going to get into this specifically with the uh, with the tarot. What is this? All tied up. Third chakra. The sun. Sacral chakra. <sighs> the sun card here. The sun card is normally the Leo in the uh, tarot. Might be dealing with the Leo. All right. You may desire a Leo. Okay all tied up. I'm going to leave that right there too. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I feel like you're all tied up over your interests. You want them. You desire them. You love them. Okay. We're going to get into this with the tarot. Show me they person's energy. Please and thank you. Gemini person's energy they're thinking about right now. That right there. Seventh chakra. So they're thinking about you cornucopia all right they got a broken heart though journey action okay um i feel like your person is in a broken heart energy you know like y'all might be separated maybe not necessarily broken hearted definitely separated though okay broken heart is my three of swords card but uh three of swords means separation to me okay um so your person is thinking about you in a good way, even though there is some separation between y'all right now, okay? They may be off on a journey, but I feel like they're going to take action. Somebody's about to take action. Yeah, with this journey card here, it's like there's a separation. Somebody went off somewhere for some reason, but there's about to be some action here, okay? But they're thinking about you in a good way. Angel of Strength. This is also my Leo card in this Oracle deck. You know, bam, right there with the root chakra underneath. Between you two is a woman holding a heart. Okay, so again, I feel like it's some really good feelings between y'all. But it's also some static between y'all too. Okay, let's get into this here. Alright. So Gemini, I feel like they on guard, all tied up. Over you. All right. Thinking about their person. 
thinking positively in some ways, but still got their guard up. Why? Why is the guard up for the Gemini spirit? Why is the guard up? Ah, uh, yeah. You're taking a rest from this collaboration. That's why. Okay. You're taking a rest. All right. Taking a rest. Why? Why the need for the rest? Page of Wands, Moon Card, Reverse. I feel like you uncertain. You uncertain in this uh, situation. You feel like it's some secrets somewhere that ain't came out. I feel like in your gut, you know it's some stuff. With this Moon Reverse and the Two of Swords, you know it's something going on. So you pulling your energy back like, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. That's why you got your guard up. Okay, because you feel intuitively that mm -mm, there's some shit in the game. This is adjacent possibilities. Death card, reverse, ten of cups. Yeah, you feel like that y'all can't move forward to this beautiful ten of cups situation because of all of these possibilities they got going on. Like, oh shit, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. So, Gemini, you're the woman holding the heart because you love this person, but you being strong with this angel of strength because you're not about to be played the fool. That's what it is. You're not about to be played the fool even though you love this person. You feel like they on something else. Like they got a bunch of other possibilities. Okay? They're not giving you their energy like they're supposed to. They're giving it to somebody else, and you can feel it. You can feel it. Six of Cups, Nine of Swords. She has somebody from their past. You can feel it. All right, what's going on with this person? Seventh Chakra Cornucopia. Devil card and a Hermit Reverse. See? They not they not by themselves. They 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 deviling it up. <laughs> they deviling it up. Okay? You see them? They getting it in out here. They not off by themselves. Mm-mm. They deviling it up. Yeah, doubling it up. Okay, that's why the Gemini decided to take this journey. What's the journey? Mm-hmm. Y'all saw that and it just, it came out and flipped around. Came out, that's the Seven of Wands. Yeah, Gemini's like, man, I ain't playing with you no more. Ain't nobody got no time for you. All right, I'm not even arguing with you no more. Period, I'm not. Okay, that's why I'm out of here. Okay, boom, out of here. That's right, fool card, fool card tower, because, man, shit, you got me fucked up, okay? I'm not arguing with you. I'm doing something new because of what has occurred. And and the tower is sitting right on top of the action. <laughs> because of what has occurred, the action that has taken place, okay? What took place? What took place? I like this action card, you know what I mean? Look at that, two horses. I feel like this is like one person was coming uh, it, with integrity and the other person wasn't. Black and white. And it was clear. It was black and white. Somebody was acting with integrity and somebody just was operating in their shadow side. You know? And that's the tower. But clarify that spirit. Thank you. Right there. Action. King of Swords. And the four cups. Exactly. Gemini is like, no. That's the action. Gemini is saying, uh, no, thank you, buddy. Uh, no, thank you. When you come back, you know, with this cup, I'm going to meet you with the sword. <laughs> Damn, Gemini. No wonder you hostile. Look at this shit. This is the Gemini energy. Okay? Boom. That's the, you see that sword? Homeboy got that sword right there. And that's the King of Swords. So that's like the King of Swords on both sides. Damn, Gemini, that was the first card that came out. And it's the last card that came out on the action. On, on, on your person side. So I feel like your person know that they can't come to you with no bullshit. They know it. All right? Because they A, sword up. And where you meet in the middle is the Six of Wands. Again, you could be dealing with the Leo here. Um, 
But Gemini feels victorious by defending themselves, by pulling back, okay? Because they feel deep in their gut, there's some shit in the game. And can't nobody tell them different. Can't nobody tell them different. And, and they feel victorious by pulling back. They're being strong, even though they are the woman holding the heart. Okay? Now, on your person's side, they thinking about the good times. They are seventh chakra and the cornucopia. They are the woman holding the heart, too, because now their heart is bleeding like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I should have did what I was supposed to. They see him with the woman holding the heart and the angel of strength like, damn, I shouldn't have been tempted. I thought I was doing something out here with this six of wands, but I wasn't. Okay? Now it's separation between me and the Gemini. The Gemini done went on a journey. They starting something new because of the shit that done occurred. And the action they taking is for them not to take my cup. Fuck. Mm. Oh, well. That's the way love goes. What is the advice for the Gemini? What is the advice for the Gemini? <clears throat> what is the advice for the Gemini? I'm going to tell you what the advice is. I had to get another deck so I can get the advice. But it seems pretty clear cut to me. Seem like Gemini need to stand their ground. Okay? But let's see what the cards got to say. Not what I have to say. Let's see what the cards have to say. Alright, that's one. Yeah, I know I like to shuffle with the number three. Three is about creation. Two. Alright. Three. About the Trinity. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. The mind, body, and the soul. Okay? What's the advice for the Gemini? World card. This shit is over. Boom. So that, Gemini, is the spirit message for you during this retrograde period. During this retrograde period, okay, spirit is saying, wrap this up. With the person that you know over here got a whole lot going on, really ain't giving you the time of day, got you all tied up in your feelings, okay? It's time to let that go. It is time to let that go. That is the message for this retrograde period. <laughs> all right? And retrograde is all about learning lessons anyway. I call them like the final exams or the midterm exams in life. Retrograde, they come to teach you uh, a lesson. Is it time to move to the next level? Or are we going to repeat this grade again? All right? Did you learn your lesson? <laughs> Are you going to pass the test? Are you going to re-loop this? I'm, I'm done preaching. Y'all got the world card. That means wrap this up. It's time for something new during this Mercury retrograde. Listen, this brown bag over here, okay? I'm talking to the Geminis right now. <laughs> I hope y'all have enjoyed this message. If you did, please hit that like button for me. Okay? And if uh, you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. And if you resonate with this message, please leave it in the comment section because I love to hear your feedback. All right. So until the next time we get together, good people, I encourage you all to pack light and y'all be cool.